Hey, Challenge fans, it's your girl, Devin Simone. Hate to say it, but this episode will mark our last <laughs> aftermath of one crazy and unpredictable season. <laughs> As we anxiously wait to see how the final episodes play out, the team is gearing up for what will most certainly be an explosive reunion. In celebration of our final aftermath for the season, we've decided to do things a little differently. We sat our cast down to recall some of their favorite moments of this season, including things that surprised them, things that troubled them, and maybe we'll even get some exclusive behind the scenes tea. You know I love tea, y'all. Enjoy. What would you say is like one of your favorite moments? Uh, so many, but I've got to say, yeah. Emmy going into a hall brawl. Epic. Winning 3-0. Picking uh. CT. Yo. and then winning the next challenge. <laughs> that series of events all shaped the game in a really intense way. Yeah. That to me is like the ultimate respect. Yeah, um, legendary, that's how you do it. Kyle's birthday. <laughs> Let me hear about Kyle's birthday. Well, Kyle, man. What did you guys do? Kyle's season in general was was interesting because obviously the first sabotage mission he comes yeah. at me. I just put it on anyone, bro. You put it on me. Yes, once I took you out because I wanted to win. That the, it was the exact opposite of what we decided to do. Coming that, in hot. That leaves me wondering where we are. It leaves everyone else wondering where what way things are gonna go so at that point this the seas had been a little rocky for him but that's still my guy we still wanted yeah. him to have a good birthday right so we decided to bring his heritage to him uh and full on everybody in kilts which were actually just that flannel shirts good. wrapped around our waists we tracked down some native beverages mm -hmm. uh and it was it was one of the more fun parties of the year and and i think kyle had a great time he's very appreciative so yeah. i was happy i was happy for the kilt party we are going to party scottish style same question to you favorite moment of the season where are you at i would say when we went into elimination this season was rough for me i didn't win at all <laughs> so oh, hanging in the balance hanging in the balance <laughs> Right there. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> that was that I was just so happy to overcome and to have that comeback like mm -hmm. that because we were down early in the beginning. I had my exit speech planned. I'm looking at Bettina like, girl, we're about to lose. But sure enough, you know, me and her, we just kept fighting, we kept communicating. And to pull off a hard earned elimination is different, right? Against two beasts, two Jeremiah and, and Amber, a champion. Yeah, you know, Amber's a champion. Yeah. And so just to get that elimination win, it, I, my spirits were like right here. Once I got that win, I was like, okay, I got my juice back. I'm yeah. feeling good. You know how it feels. When you win the elimination, there's no better feeling in the Euphoric. world. Euphoric. Yeah. <laughs> Casey, what was your favorite moment this season? Wait, what was my favorite moment this season? <laughs> mm, my favorite moment, the date night. Obviously. Was really cool. <laughs> Do you agree? Yes, I agree. <laughs> that was my favorite moment this entire season. Oh no, that was so much fun. That was, that was probably so my favorite fun. moment out of my entire challenge. Kind of much, to be honest. Aw. You deserve happiness, you deserve to be loved, and you deserve it all for real. And I appreciate you so much. I really do. It, it was fun. It kind of took us away from like the game. The game. And uh, it was cool. Yeah. Beautiful. It was crazy that we experienced that on a challenge though. Yeah. Yeah. Made it happen. That was cool. I know you did good work. What was what's your favorite moment besides the date? Probably when we went out on the boat. 
we are getting closer and closer and closer to a final. I feel pretty good about my current position in the game. I could potentially be running a final with Casey, and that is amazing. Yes. And it's just us like taking ourselves out of the game and just kind of having fun and you know experiencing Croatia for what it was instead of yeah. just game, game, game all the time. So that was nice. I didn't notice till after we were walking off the boat. When you broke your toe. When I broke my toe, <laughs> yes. It's still dislocated and broken now. But I wasn't wearing any shoes and just on the boat, having a good time, slipped and then. So the next morning we woke up and you looked at your toe and your toe was black. Yeah. Your toe was literally black. And you're like, oh no, it's fine. I'm like, oh, I think there's something wrong with it. And you're like, no, no, it's fine. Continue to go the rest of the season without getting it checked out because you swore it was fine. Turns out it was broken. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Memories. Memories. Oh, how can I forget those memories? <laughs> Tuck it, baby. We're coming in hot. Do I gotta ask you? Okay. What shocked you the most? Out of all the things that oh happened. God. What was the shocker for you? I'd have to say getting yelled at by Tatcha after her elimination. <gasps> Donna, when you get in <laughs> up Itari, okay? If you know you wanted this, you're a fake ass no, bitch. No, this is not true, Tatcha. No, 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 that's true. No, no, no. Don't try to be any kind of way. If you don't I want to. Any... No, 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 no. Tell Whatever, me like. Dude. Was not ready for that. She flipped her shit and I wasn't ready for it. Yeah. And she was really coming at just you. Just, yeah. just, just me, you. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think that like we had, a, we have very different views on kind of what happened. So it was, yeah. I'm still kind of traumatized. I tried to reach out to her, but she blocked me on social media. So mm. I feel like she kind of put up a boundary. She doesn't want to talk to me. So Body. I'm just going to, I'm going to respect the boundary. Yes. I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to in the future, and then if not, it is what it is. Proud of myself. I'm proud of everybody out here, minus you. What is the most shocking moment for you? Hmm, the most shocking moment for me. Maybe it was the Josh and Fessy fight. Yeah. Hey, Josh. And everybody vote your ass in because everybody's applauding on your ass. Remember Who's this. Who's gonna beat me? You? Oh, You're gonna oh, beat me? Oh, you can't I win. I know Josh was kind of throwing stuff and it did get a little bit heated, but I didn't think it was like too bad. Fessy did the face push. He did the face push. Yeah, first. We weren't even around for that fight. And we had no idea how we bad it no was. We had no idea how bad it was. So like, it was shocking for us like when we were there because we were like, holy crap, like it must have been really bad. It was even more shocking to like watch it actually happen on TV. Yeah. Well, what's crazy is that, that Josh didn't get sent home either. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be Josh. Cause even all that day, right? Remember that day we're just like, man, what's gonna happen? Is mm -hmm. TJ about to show up at the house? What is gonna happen? And all of a sudden, Fessy just out the game like that. I Deactivated. Know. Fessy, you put hands on somebody. You're deactivated. Shut the oh, up. TJ, please. You're done. No. Cut. That's it. You understand? I didn't even think. I didn't even think that was possible. I was like, oh my gosh. All, you know, he just gone. So that was pretty. That was pretty shocking. I'm sorry. We joke around, and I'm sorry if I put you down. It, w it was never my intention to make you feel like that. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> up. I'm sorry. Fessy leaving is definitely the most shocking moment, and. Honestly, I regret, one of my biggest regrets being part of the show, the five seasons I've done was fighting with Fessy. Although I was sad for you because I knew you were feeling bad, mm -hmm. looking at that through my lens, I'm like, Josh stays, Fessy goes. Win-win. Well, my ass is getting down there because I'm yeah. not letting TJ make this decision. All right, so let's go down there. Yeah. So yeah, it did, no. it, was it was obviously hard. unfortunate the way it panned out for you and sh very shocking, but I was sitting there like, I just hit the jackpot. Yeah. No, I think a lot of people were thinking that. You weren't the <laughs> only one. I think everybody was thinking, oh, shit, we just got rid of Fess. All right, Brody. I just want to win so bad. Just sucks that my time is cut short here because fight with my best friend. We're filmed at all points in time, but some things still happen yeah. behind the scenes. Uh... What is your favorite moment of the Challenge 37 that wasn't caught on camera? One thing that I'm bummed about that I wasn't there for and is not on camera is the famous story of Onion Eyes. Oh like, my God. I still, to this, I'm like, I'm so bummed I wasn't there for that. Onion Eyes is, yeah. is one of my favorite moments of all time. <laughs> yeah. In a nutshell, yeah. Nelson likes a really cold room. 
Yeah. Uh, and, and as does Ed. And the only other person in that room at that time Emmy. was Emmy. And she, she was waking up every day, like in her eyes, I guess in Romania, they have a saying called, I have onion eyes. Like when you wake up and you have tired eyes. Yeah. So she comes into my room at 4.30 in the morning and just goes, and when I wake up every day, my eyes, they are like oh, onions. Meltdown. Every day they are like onions and I cannot sleep and I cannot sleep in this room. Emmy's meltdowns are my favorite, man. For 45 I'm minutes. <laughs> yeah. uh, onion eyes was a classic. I'm gonna go, not caught on camera, the big T and Emmy fight was oh my how did i forget about it, that when big t started oh remixing when she started remixing alien <laughs> with just insults Epic. with just insults i can't believe that i was showing that fight i'm not sure what caused it but i i believe that it was emmy's attachment to ct and Big T, I think maybe because of double agents, she had been in that position in the yeah. previous season. And for whatever reason, it erupted in a remix of Alien with <laughs> only insults. I'm an alien. I follow CT around all day. And <laughs> suck it. I was like, whoa. I was like, what's going on here? Well, then Emmy's Dude, sitting there like, so funny. no, this is just all work. <laughs> Most <laughs> bizarre was, argument I've ever seen, but the funniest. In two people that are like, so it's like worlds colliding. Yeah. It's like you could not find two more different I've individuals. never seen Big T loser like that. Oh, it was, it was hilarious. Surprised yeah. Ed, was there anything that wasn't caught on camera that you can remember? You know, Thor, I gotta tell you, there was a lot of goofy things that yeah. went on behind the scenes. Bro, what about when you guys did that, that seance? Okay, the healthy food ritual was one of them. Basically, you sacrificed foods that you weren't going to eat, and you said if you eat them, you deserve to be eliminated, and everybody got eliminated. So I just think it was the worst idea ever. Okay, maybe we're not going to do that next time. Yeah. Are we just going to survive? Survive. Survive. 100%. We had to. I want to know your favorite moment from Spies, Lies, and Allies. Ooh. When we formed Team Emerald, that very first challenge where we mm. formed teams, I saw our group like come together and winning that first mission. That felt so good, man. The dominoes yeah. falling of yeah. that, of just being like, it was one person that led to the next one on mm -hmm. that podium, right? Yep. We had all been working together. So to get everybody on that podium at the same time, I looked around and I was like, Oh, this is kind of a wrap. We're stuck. Uh, the challenge where you stiff-armed Kyle to the ground <laughs> in the rain. I love you, Kylie. Josh comes out of the safe zone like a bat out of hell and hit him with the Heisman <laughs> up yeah. the sidelines. That was epic. And then in the triple hall brawl, in all brawl, yeah. Emerald had two absolutely devastating blows. Oh, man. Casey, Casey. taking Tori's head off. <laughs> That was and bad. Tori, I love you. I've that not a seen hit. a hit like that in a long time. Me and then you probably don't even remember this because you blacked out. Yeah, I don't. But you leveled Kyle again. <laughs> After pounding on your chest and screaming, <laughs> I want all the smoke. And I'm here for it. Gosh. I don't remember that at all. I, I never, swear. I never anticipated you being one of my favorite moments of a season, but <laughs> I'm glad that we're here. Gosh. That's Josh, what I love! Josh, Josh. The smoke? Honestly, my favorite part of the season was getting picked by so many different partners. I would love Tori! Tori. Tori. Tori, you've been stolen from Ed. Come on down. You didn't even know what you were doing when you picked me. Well, when you're the best, you get picked a lot. Thank you. So must mean you're pretty good. What's your favorite moment? I don't know. Winning Maybe, um, and elimination? Winning was great. The elimination, yeah. that was so cool. It's the world, it's the world. Wait, wait, put on the floor, put on the floor. You're the best engineer in the whole world, Ed. Check, check, check. All right, Ed and Emmy, you win. But we had our win. Yeah, we won. Our win was pretty good. Fastest team of the day, and our new agency was Ed and Tori. After our cabbage date, which was a lucky date. I love the cabbage date. Now that we're a team. Yes. It's important that we get to know each other as quick as possible. Obviously. Yeah. 
That's why we're on this dinner date. So I, <laughs> that's why we're on this dinner date. We should have done that more. Yeah. Why didn't we do that more? I think that the people stopped bringing cabbage. Well, it had a 100% success rate, so they probably yeah. didn't want to bring it anymore because they knew this is some weird voodoo going on where these guys are just gonna win everything. Exactly. We even finish each other's sentences Salads. Now. Have some salad. We even finish each other's <laughs> salads now. Yeah, I like the aftermath. You know, yeah. it, it, is a, it is a problem solver instead of a problem starter. I agree. And we like to see that. I agree. Speaking of solving problems, I think my favorite moment of the aftermath so far is when unanimously, without it ever being planned, every answer to trivia was Amanda and Fessy. <laughs> I haven't seen that. What? That is gonna be a tough one. <laughs> Ready, let's see, reveal. Oh, let me see. Oh! <laughs> Shut the f up! We had a challenge wedding. I mean, it's good. this is an obvious one. Yeah, okay, you guys ready? Okay. This, okay. All right. The answer is Amanda and Fessy! And my answer is... Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's I am, uh, I'm here for it. I love trolling my castmates. And You're good at that. What is your favorite moment of this season's aftermaths? Damn. There's uh, a lot Pizza of Gate, content. Pizza Gate was funny. They brought in a whole bunch of cold pizza for us <laughs> right after the whole. For you and Fessy? For me and Amber. Yeah. Oh, yeah, God, yeah. that's classic. Mm. Mm -hmm. Some wow. very inspired pizza. I've sent a delivery guy your way, you guys, with some pizzas coming, all right? <laughs> they bring in a whole bunch of pizza, but Amber didn't get any, like, in the house. No. So, yeah. so that was probably a highlight for me. That was funny. And, I, and it was good because we were able to laugh about the situation. Amber, I'm sorry. If you had gotten here 45 minutes earlier, I'm hangry. No one likes me when I'm hangry. I would say my favorite part is are the games. Oh, the games, because you're a gamer. Yes. You love and games. I had to draw you. <laughs> How do you dictionary and I said, yeah, I said the same thing. How the heck am I supposed to draw a Nani? I made it happen though. <laughs> How did you draw me? That's my bun. I, this is Nani. How are you? <laughs> did I look pretty? Very beautiful. Oh, okay, oh. good. <laughs> I won that game too. <laughs> Okay, all right, four, four in the tiebreaker. I really, I don't know. I'm yeah. not keeping score. Oh, I am. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> Do you know what? I honestly didn't want to come to the aftermath because, you know, these things, you can dig up some <laughs> that you don't really want to talk about. But I, this whole experience has been so much fun. And I think probably playing the games I definitely like the lightens games. the mood. I suck at Pictionary, yeah. but I love it. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Okay. Yes. Oh, is this the salad? You gave up chocolate. Toss your salad. You, Toss the uh, salad. Uh, Illuminati ritual. Toss your salad. Lettuce. Cabbage. Yes. Cabbage. Cabbage. There we go. Okay. Cabbage. <laughs> My favorite aftermath moment might be when me and you dressed alike because it just showed yeah. how far we have come. We really have come full circle. I agree. I From rivals, we were about to get into a fight. We hated each other. No, no, nothing, kids. What are you out. gonna do? No, yes. Wouldn't ended well for me. No. Nope. I mean, it would. It was Money bad maker. all the way around. Yeah. <laughs> then we were partners together. Then that whole pasta gate happened. Hey, he was just kidding. He was just kidding. Your daughter, my dad. Hey, go so, We go fight right now. We go fight right now. We love y'all. Um, that was tough, and then now we're dressing alike. So yeah. I think slowly you're starting to wear off on me, and I personally want to say thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And I think if you mm -hmm. were to let me wear one of your chains and I let you wear one of mine, I think we would feel like a closer connect. Do you want to do that? I think, you know. If you want to, I will. Yeah, I think, okay. it's, I think it's right. I think we've gotten to that level in our relationship where okay. it's only Chain. right if we do this. Chain exchange. Yeah. Classic. I mean, Oh, now I understand. Now I, I understand the power of the rock. This feels right. Does that? Because this looks right and it feels good. And I mean, I could, this is crazy what this thing does. Man, this is, this is nice. Oh, watch out for that. This is nice, man. It's an aftermath instant yeah. classic. Yep.
Somebody get a puzzle. Get a puzzle. Get a puzzle. You heard me. Get a puzzle. <laughs> Theo, what's been your favorite moment of the aftermath this season? Explain the duck. Devin, meet Theo, AKA Teddy. Teddy. Devin. <laughs> duck, yeah. Perfect. I think oh. that's perfect. Oh, oh I think my that God. You're ready to go. <laughs> you are ready. Classic Theo. Theo, I kind of like you better than Devin and Tori, which is, I, I know it's weird because they introduced us, but like, I don't know. I feel like you get me. And it's just, it's special. I, I'm so glad that you've been here in the aftermath. Yeah, I love you too. All right, should we close this out? I think it's time. Well, thanks guys for joining us on this very special season of The Challenge Aftermath. I'm your host, Devin Simone. This is my friend, Theo. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we all have. Continue watching The Challenge Spies, Lies, and Allies Wednesday nights on MTV, because you won't want to miss TJ's final. And don't forget the reunion. It's been fun. Theo, you want to go grab a bite to eat? I'll pick up the tab this time. OK, come on, let's go. Got to get your jacket, though. I think it's going to be cold outside. All right, let's go. It's all right. Ooh, you packed on some quarantine pounds. This is the night of eliminations. Two more agents will be sent home. Everything's on the line. The best of the best from the entire world. It's time to go to war. All right, agents, welcome to my final. Oh! An epic test of your mind, body, and heart. Oh!